so that's my wolf pup. And what's wrong with that picture? You might be wondering. <clears throat> wondering. The problem is, there's no pickup to it. My pickup is actually nowhere near this place. Nowhere in sight. As a matter of fact, this doesn't work too well anymore. <clears throat> I was driving around and um, just pulled off the freeway in Bozeman, Montana. And there's a lot of rumbling, a lot of rumbling. The RPMs went straight up. And then, uh, and then I can't go any faster than 20 miles per hour. So that's why Jake here is like, I still need you. And so I'm riding with him for now. Supposedly today I'm getting my pickup. So I walked in, I was like, can you fix my pickup that guy after two weeks at least? I was like, well, heck, um, well, let's look at some pickups. Because I've been thinking about buying a diesel pickup after the shearing season was done. So I was like, well, might as well find one now, I guess. So picked one out, drove it, liked it, signed the papers. And they're like, how about next week? I was like, whoa, I need it now. I pointed at my pickup, like that thing, I can't drive it. That's why I'm here. I, hmm. They're like, well, we can, we, we'll, we'll get it done as soon as possible. So that was Saturday, today's Tuesday. I said that they'll be able to deliver it today. So we'll see what happens. getting out here but yeah quick little job today be back in town in the afternoon to collect my pickup
Well, would you look at that? Check it out. Yep. A new ride finally arrived. It's all thanks to Goose. He works at uh, Wrestler Shave Dealership in Bozeman, Montana. And uh, Goose, that's not his real name, that's his nickname. But Goose, uh, thanks a lot for making this happen. I'm very impressed. So, if any of you guys are interested in a vehicle, interested in a vehicle in, in Bozeman, um, I would suggest going to Wrestler Chevy Dealership and uh, ask him for a goose because he made it happen. All right, had a first successful night with my new pickup, my new used pickup, and uh, it did not charge my trailer when I was driving. So, I, so I was like, "Oh shucks!" And then, um, and then, so I checked the fuses, and the fuse for charging the trailer is blown. So I need to go buy a new fuse. But um, we got James here, chilling in the new ride. He. Uh, He's uh, thinking about getting a diesel pickup too. Maybe, we'll see. We'll see. And um, so as I'm trying to figure out this pickup, pushing buttons and Bluetooth hookup stuff, I found out that I have a CD in my pickup. And we're going to listen to the CD and see what it tells us about the previous owner of this pickup. There was only one, so that's good. And uh, I would let you guys listen to it too, but I can't because of YouTube copies, right? stuff so sorry but um can you tell them what it is um it's uh, I, uh yeah i think so here it is yakima to frino yakita to frino <laughs> so well we're gonna keep this thing <laughs> all right well this week ended a little bit earlier than anticipated as you can see it's cloudy out, there's snow falling, everything's wet. So when that happens, it's kind of cold out too. Um, the sheep get wet, but they don't get dry because there's no sun and there's not really a strong breeze at all. So today I uh, drove back to Bozeman to get my uh, to grab my stuff out of my pickup. So, as you can see, I got all my junk back. And um, the pickup I had beforehand was a, um, um, a crew cab regular bed. So this is a crew cab long bed. And look at all that space. Wow. That's awesome. You know, the more I drive this, or I've been towing my trailer over there and man, towing with a diesel is so much better than towing with a gas. And um, I wasn't gonna buy one until after the season, but the occasion called for me to buy one that moment. So I did, walked in, I went, let's look at some pickups, picked one, did some paperwork, I have really good credit, so that helped. Wrote a really big check, and then, uh, but it wasn't ready, but so it was delivered, but, um, everything worked out in the end, so um, I'm, I'm happy about it. So, sorry about not showing a lot of shearing this week. It's more like, oh, I have troubles. Let's go shear some sheep. Let's go get my pickup. And now uh, it's snowing again, so we're not really shearing. So let's go get my junk. So apologies for the short week of shearing. But um, anyways. If you enjoyed my content, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And uh, for you guys, uh, for your information, I created an Instagram account for my YouTube channel. Here it is. Famous Seamus Experience. To spell it all out, and um, here's me in a buffalo right there. Buffalo. I, uh, I was out hiking and we stumbled upon a buffalo that walked around it on top of a butte and some people took a picture of it, so that was pretty cool. But as you can see, I have one post and one follower who's gonna be the second follower. 
Again, uh, famous James experience. Look it up. And thanks for watching.